Okay, hello, welcome to my $2,000 PC build, my first computer I've ever built. I am extremely excited. There's a cat in the background that wants to check it out because it's a box. Um, it is, as you can read on here, apparently Eclipse P300 series, whatever the hell that means. Um, it has this dope looking case and we're gonna open it today and I'll go through all the parts that are in it and where I got it from and fun stuff like that. Okay, so to start, pulling this tape off, we've got the uh, power supply on top and this big thing that's so stop, which I'm immediately interested in. Um, paper? Random things? Don't know what that is. Okay, so this boring piece of paper just simply says all the parts and like how much it costs. So that's the total bill, right? $2,211. Uh, but then I also got it built and like has windows and stuff. So a random to build the computer by yourself is about $2,000. Stop! Before you power up your amazing new PC, please open the side panel and remove all the internal packaging, blah, 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 components, strings, transit, yep, cool. I mean, self-explanatory, if you leave the packaging in there, like when you power it up, like, you're not real bright. So the first part that comes just like on top um, is the power supply. Pure power 10, 600 watts uh, from Be Quiet. Uh, I don't think the power supply is actually in here. I'm pretty sure this is just bits and bobs that I need to open. Okay, yeah, so as the guy said, there's like, Windows 10, um, accessory box, ooh, a bunch of small screws that I'll likely need to hold on to, so let's not lose that. <laughs> um, and all of these manuals and random things, there is a lot of pieces of paper in here. Ooh, that's my RAM case. Oh. Um, ooh, you can see the processor already. <gasps> i5 unlocked uh, 8, 60, 8, 600, 8, 600k? I don't know. It's strong, okay? Uh, has all this random plastic, who even knows, power cords that I assume we don't need. Hopefully not. What's that um, red thing? I don't know. This thing? Yeah. I, I don't know. I assume these are extra parts. Ooh. Oh my god, yes. What guys. is it? I get a, I get a doorknob thing. You just hook <laughs> on. Game off, you may enter. Game on, you shall not pass. <laughs> This is going to be great. I'm literally going to put this on my door. Oh, no. I have no idea what any of these parts are. <laughs> like, quite literally. <gasps> cool stickers! Yes! I'm going to stick this over everything. Oh, my God. Literally, my crappy HP laptop <laughs> is going to be covered in these stickers. Uh, we've got a disc. Uh, ROG Strict Z37... can't even read! <laughs> Z370. If you haven't noticed already or you haven't seen my other videos, I'm extremely excited about this PC, so I can't even talk anymore. Um, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure we can work it out. It's probably like drivers or something like that. Um, uh, you probably don't need that coupon to be on the recording. Uh, <laughs> what else? Oh, book. What is the book? Uh, this is the motherboard the, um, directions, I would assume. God, that's a lot of reading, dude. We're buying a PC here. We're not going to a library, bro. I am not reading all that. I should have probably, if you're trying to like, um, build it yourself, because that had all these photos and stuff of instructions. Okay, who cares about this box? But the box! Okay, so apparently this thing was already open. Didn't know that. This That small accessories box was holding it all together. Right. But I don't even have to cut it open. It's already open. And there is lots of stuff in here. Okay, so we got awesome <laughs> popping things that I want to pop immediately. Oh, so much I'm cardboard. <laughs> How do I even get in this thing? Oh my god. Uh, Shall we have a, a closer look? Um, yeah, Ooh. immediately. That's the motherboard. Look how amazing that thing looks. It looks insane. That's, that's next level. Um, okay. <laughs> what other cardboard do we have shoved in here? Ew. <laughs> this is probably where you saw it. I don't. This is my um, graphics card. The GeForce GTX 1070 <laughs> Dual OC. Ooh. It's uh, strong. Honestly, the reason they got it is because uh, Tom Syndicate's PC build has this one in it. So, um, I was like, yep, that looks good. <laughs> Disclaimer, by the way, if I should have said this at the start, I'm not smart with computers. I love computers. I don't know how to build computers and I just want something that's strong. So I went online and literally learned how to build this thing by myself based off YouTube videos. So that's what this build is based off. <laughs> Onwards. Ooh. Uh, this is literally just the power thing again. How? Oh, no, no, no. This is the answer. Pure oh. rock. 150 watt. TDP, whatever the hell that means. It's the, it's the cooler for my um, CPU. Um, don't know if I needed that, honestly. I didn't know how to build computers, so I was just like, yep, that probably needs cooling, so we got that. <laughs> um, it's an extremely powerful processor. It's like, memory, 3.6 megahertz as standard and 
let me say three without checking on my phone, um, without overclocking. So it's a pretty strong one. It's pretty much stronger than all the um, i7s. Now we're going to try and get this thing out of here. How? <laughs> so let's try and get this thing out somehow. Oh, yeah, this handles do. <laughs> oh, yep. Not scared. Not scared at Be all. Be careful. Not stressed. I don't know if I'm going to drop it. It's fine. It's heavy. Just squeeze tight. <laughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> now it's down on the... Uh, Little sheet we have that looks like a hanky. I'm aware. I don't know why Lily has this. Uh, that's box? the case. That's the box. See you later. Okay, let's take off all this random extra packaging that hopefully kept my PC safe on the um, hour drive home. Um, okay. I'm so excited. This is ridiculous. Look at the child. Oh my god, yes. Um, yep. Polystyrene. That polystyrene off. Success. Yay! Away with you. The cat is very confused. So now oh, probably gonna be scared. Not a nice Remember sound. Up. That was that was not nice. Ah, uh, how are we going? Off, off. Success. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the best unboxing video you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently it's on its side. I've ah. now worked that out. So we can just literally do this. By the way, I took it perfectly out of the box, so it was put in the box on the side. Don't know if that was supposed to be a thing, but whatever. Holy mother of USB ports. Yes! <laughs> I already knew how many were in there, but I just I remembered. Okay. Alright, should it's, we come up? It's got that cool stuff in it. Come should, on. Could... Okay, so this is what my case looks like from the outside. Very plain, I know, but I don't care. Because PC cases cost way too much, and I was not going for some weird thing with lights. This thing looks cool, it's black, it's like smooth, and it looks cool, and I like it. Plus it has like that small bit of red, so red is cool. So on the outside, very plain, but it's got, I don't know, apparently this thing, it lights up and changes colors. We'll work that out when we plug it in. We've got a couple USB ports, we've got the mic, and we've got the headset port, and uh, brightness, I would assume. But what we all want to see, well, the second thing we want to see is the back, the motherboard. Look at all this stuff, it's amazing. Okay, so we have, uh, many USB ports. Okay, so the back we can see the cool pretty fan. Um, we have, this thing has Wi-Fi built into it by the way. There was either two choices. Go for the motherboard that's like $20 cheaper and doesn't have Wi-Fi. I live in many different places, I need Wi-Fi. So rather than buying that stupid USB thing that gives you Wi-Fi for an extra $50, I just spent more on the motherboard that came with Wi-Fi and more USB ports. Okay, so we've got USB ports here, 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 and two on the top. It's got many internal ones as well. Um, the speeds of which I'll find out when I look up the parts later on in this video. Uh, it's also got HDMI, which has this weird thing on it right now. If it comes out, oh, I throw it on the ground. HDMI and whatever this thing is. To be honest with you, I don't know what that is, but it says P, so let me know, or I'll just find out when I read the box. Um, keyboard and mouse thing. Ethernet ports and all of these random colored things that I probably won't use for the audio uh, And that's also an optical cable also got VGA and all of these ports for many drivers that I probably don't know how to use yet But we'll work that out and of course power and the it's on and off the <laughs> switch Okay, so we're gonna take off the glass starting at tempered glass. Please handle with care. Okay, don't break it. What? This. Don't break it. Okay, we're gonna peel this back, and oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. Oh my god, it's so fresh. The freshest glass you've ever seen. Actually, no, we're gonna stop there. And we're gonna undo these first, and take off the packaging. Oh, they are very, very small screws. Yeah, I would suggest not losing those. Probably shouldn't. I mean, we do have a whole another box full of them, but I'd rather keep those so when I actually lose them. Already dropped that on the ground. Okay, they've got all their washes. Now, we should be able to take off the gloss. Oh, shit. Die, 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 die. Oh, my God, okay. Let's put this somewhere where it's not going to get broken. Right there. And this cool packaging stuff, I've seen it used before. It's awesome. Like, they put it in and then it, like, compresses and they have to put that gloss on quickly and it just sort of expands around all your PC parts. So... Let's start with the top, and hopefully it just 
comes out with ease. Kind of worried about it. Not gonna lie. Does it have instructions on how to take them out? I don't know. I just I'm scared. <laughs> Everything's so fragile in here. I don't want to break it. Try the bottom first instead. See if that's easier, and then hopefully the top comes out. This looks a lot easier. Okay, we're, go we're getting at it. I'm okay. I'm okay. I wonder why that was easier. Maybe because there's absolutely no parts in here. I've been robbed. Absolutely no parts. Screw that little thing. <laughs> now can we actually get this thing out? Two eternities later. <laughs> that was such a struggle. Um, but come check it out. Okay, so for the size of the case, it's only occupying a small area, but that just means there's more room for extra graphics cards. Um, so this is the processor cooler. Uh, I think it cost me like forty-five dollars or something. It's quite good for the price. Um, they've got two sticks of RAM at the back there. We've got my graphics card, of course, here, and then the beautiful motherboard is kind of being hidden by the rest. But my processor is back in there, and the beautiful motherboard, of course, connected to the back here. And then, of course, the power and all that extra fun stuff in the bottom here. Now to pull off the beautiful glass protector. God, that's so satisfying. Ta-da! My brand new PC. Oh my god, it's on. Okay, welcome to my newly set up computer. We're just going to go over a quick overview of all the parts and their specs and their costs and stuff like that. So first of all, I'm on a website called PC Case Gear, which I'm not sponsored by or anything like that, but I thought I'd let you know where I got it from. Um, it's like the biggest uh, computer, online, customizable computer building website business, I don't know what you want to call it, in Australia, okay. So I'm from Australia, you'll probably be able to find these parts um, on pretty much any website if you're from like America or the UK. You've probably got plenty of these kinds of businesses who might even offer you a cheaper prices, but this is the best I could do in Australia. Um, so to start with, we have the Fantex Eclipse P300 Tempered Glass Black Slash Red case, which cost me $89. It's over here. Um, so it, it comes with all this stuff and like and shows you the fans and like the different colors and you can pull it apart a thousand times and it's got great airflow and all that other rubbish that no one really cares about. It was basically just a nice looking case and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Um, now the thing that did start costing me an arm and a leg, and a leg is the Intel Core i5-8600K. That is a great processor, it's over here. So it says it has 3.6 gigahertz uh, as standard or 4.3 gigahertz when uh, turbo or overclock, whatever you want to call it. It's got six cores, and then you can read the rest of this mumbo jumbo that I don't understand, but it didn't include a fan. So, um, assuming that it is a very strong um, CPU, because it's as strong as most of the i7s, unless you go like the really high-end, very expensive i7s, um, it would get pretty hot. So, we've got just this nice, efficient little Be Quiet Pure Rock CPU cooler for only $45, quite cheap, and does the job. Um, yeah, it has all this info here if you guys want to check that out. All the links, by the, by the way, for all the pages that I'm looking at that have all the individual items that are in my PC will be linked in the description down below. So, like, you can click through to this website. Even though you're not from, even if you're not from Australia, you can see the individual parts and then you can just, like, look up their equivalent on whatever website you want to use. Um, but, yeah, on to the motherboard. We have the Asus ROG Strix Z370G, which is the gaming Wi-Fi AC motherboard, which cost me $269. Um, I went for the one with Wi-Fi, which a lot of people don't like use on PCs, I understand, because Ethernet is better and has better um, internet connection, right? That is great. But um, I live in like many different places and I even intend to move out even uh, like within the six months period. So I don't always have access to an Ethernet port, unfortunately. So I would have had to invest in that stupid little USB port that costs like $50 that grants you Wi-Fi access. Or, instead of wasting $50 on that USB port, I went an extra like $30 or something into this uh, motherboard, which comes with Wi-Fi, and a lot of extra stuff that what the original motherboard I was going to get has. So it has uh, 4 times 4000 megahertz uh, DDR4, aka RAM, um, these slots here on the side. Um, it also has, <coughs> excuse me, it has two USB 3.1 generation 2 USB ports. 
It has six USB 3.1 generation one USB ports. It has four rear, rear and two internal. And then, uh, I don't know where it says here, but I also have two USB 2 ports. So I have like 10 total on the external, right? Uh, and it looks amazing. These colors, oh, these colors here change and you can change them all and you know, extra cool stuff. If you want to check out all the bits and pieces that are all in this description, you can just check out the link below because I don't know all the stuff. Also, this is the weird Wi-Fi thing it comes with. It's very ugly, but it gives me Wi-Fi. Um, and yeah, it's awesome. It looks cool. It glows and it has all of this information here below. And now onto my graphics card, the Asus GeForce GTX 1070 Dual Fan OC with eight gigabyte. So this thing is pretty tank. It's Asus, which, you know, who doesn't love Asus? Uh, I don't know, by the way, if I haven't already disclaimed, pretty sure I did earlier in this video, but I don't know PC parts. So this one was recommended via a YouTube video of a vlogger I watch and gaming. Um, he does basically everything. Tom Syndicate, if you don't know who he is. He is a very popular UK um, YouTuber, and he did in one of his PC builds one of these. So I thought, well, great recommendation. I don't know anyone personally that has built a PC, so I'll go with this recommendation. So I'm going to test it out. It's very strong. Uh, I don't have the money for a 1080 Ti or that new one that they brought out quite recently. So this is the one I went with and we're going to see how it goes. If not, my motherboard has the ability to get an extra one. So later on, if I want to invest in a stronger graphics card, I can just add that on. Now onto the DDR4, AKA the RAM. Everyone wants RAM. So I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 3000 megahertz uh, from Team T-Force, which cost me $239, because this stuff is expensive. Um, it looks cool. It doesn't have all the glowing stuff. I didn't bother wasting an extra $40 on things that glow because glow doesn't make your thing stronger. So I just went with the stuff that apparently vents the um, heat well, I don't know, who cares? As long as it works and it's strong, this is the one I went for. You can spend an extra $40 and get stuff that has cool glowing stuff if you like pretty lights, or you can just go for the standard things that don't glow and work just as strong for $239. Now onto, we have two terabytes of Seagate, Seagate Barracuda uh, for $89 because I need a bit of storage on this thing. I mostly use external hard drives for my uh, vlogs and gaming stuff, but it's always good to have a few terabytes on the PC as well. Now the SD card, we went with Kings and Kings. I'm gonna say it wrong again. Kingston, pronounce it however you want. I don't care. SSD, um, bunch of numbers that I don't know what that means. 240 gigabytes worth of SSD. Okay, so you can put all your programs because SSD runs faster than your hard drive. So you put all your programs like Windows and I use Premiere like every single day. I use Elgato and just the main programs like your games and stuff. You put on your SSD so it runs faster. So 240 gigs is, should be enough at least um, to run all the main games that I want and all the main programs that I want. And then the extra storage, you just put back on this thing over here. Now onto the power supply. We went with, again, be quiet because we do not enjoy loud computer noises and the PlayStation makes enough noise, okay? We want the PC to be quiet. Um, be quiet, pure power, power 10, 600 watt power supply. Um, it seemed I had to work out through many recommendations, many YouTube videos, and just reading a whole bunch of stuff online, how much um, power was required for the rig I was gonna use, because again, I don't know PCs. This is the one I worked out was gonna be the best, the most efficient and cost effective, because it's only $109, which for power supplies isn't too bad, uh, especially when you're building a strong enough PC to run all the stuff that I want. Um, so yeah, this is what I went with. If you want to check out the, um, you know, random details that I have no idea what they mean, check out the link below. We also had to, unfortunately, buy Microsoft Windows because that is hella expensive. Um, so they took a chunk out of the budget. And that is pretty much all the stuff that includes in the build. This is just the um, PC case gear, full custom system assembly service. So they built the whole thing for me because, again, I don't know, PCs. So for $149, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm sure many other places uh, offer cheaper services, but this is the one we went with, and they did a pretty great job from what I've seen so far. I've only had the PC for a couple of days now, but no complaints yet, and if there is, I will sure to let you guys know. Um, so this is the full list. Go through it uh, if you want. It'll be linked below again. Um, so total of 2200 and $41, that is interesting. It only cost me 200 and 
$11. So something has gone up by $30. Um, but yeah, that is the total build. So you could build the thing itself for about two grand. Um, if you uh, don't include this and you know, you could change a few of these things up if you'd like and customize your own thing for yourself. But yeah, that is the build I went with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my PC build. This thing is a beast. I've loved using it for like, oh, they come back light, uh, for like the last 24 hours pretty much since I got it. Uh, just been setting it up and getting all my games downloaded and all my recording stuff downloaded. And it's a beast. I love it. And I'm going to continue to use it. So if you want to see like more updated versions of how I, how I use it and like how strong it is and what it's capable of, basically just keep checking out this channel. You hit subscribe. And I'll let you know throughout the vlogs that I do every day here on this channel at 7pm. Or the gaming content that I'm mostly going to be using this thing for is Spider-Man playthroughs and Black Ops 4 that's coming out in like two weeks. That's what the main thing is that I'm going to start using this thing for. And then who knows from there, uh, I want to try and start streaming if I've got the good enough internet, which will not be for a little while. But definitely gameplay recordings on YouTube with this thing. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Um, so hopefully this video helped you guys out, see what different parts that you can get and like what to do and maybe <laughs> what not to do because I probably messed up a bunch of things in here. Um, yeah, so again, I don't know PC builds and how to build them, but I hope this helped through me collecting all the recommendations I could find on the internet and compiling them into this build. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave likes down below and leave any comments of if you're building a PC, what you're thinking of going. And yeah, hit subscribe, hit that bell to see the rest of my videos and when they go live. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.